What's up? Today, I have the day off, so I didn't want to sit at home and just uh, lay under blankets and watch YouTube, so I decided to record my own video. So I have Tim here. Say hi, Tim. I, on the other hand, wanted to stay under the blankets. Too bad. Um, we got our sugar-free Red Bull. Hi, queen. Let's go. Wee. Okay. Are you rich? Um, I'm not rich, uh, definitely not. I have my bachelor's in music, and so I have the expenditures that go along with such a degree. I, um, you know, I'm working a survival job, and she's not monetized, so hello, free YouTube videos, here you go. <laughs> what would you do if you were rich, though? I'd probably, like, pursue my art to the highest level. I feel like it's hard to put art on a certain, like, in a hierarchy, where it, it, it shouldn't just be like the more money you have, the uh, the better your art is to an extent, but also like the more money that you have, the more freely you can pursue your art. So there are some restrictions that having more money would definitely help with, which is a perfect opportunity for me to say, please subscribe so she can make some coin. All right, we've arrived to the waterfront, so let us adjour adjourn and, and continue. I don't know what I'm saying. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so here we are. This is lovely, what is it called? This is North Shore Park. This is lovely North Shore Park. That's Tampa Bay. This is Tampa Bay. Anything else? <laughs> That's it, video done. Bye. Video, bye. So if we, uh, if we got like stuck on a boat out in the water, like really far from land, how long do you think it would take before you would uh, eat somebody? Probably 15 seconds. I don't know. Like, it depends on whether or not, like, if I had had a protein shake that morning or whether or not I had, like, made sure to take my vitamins. If I am without two gummy vitamins in the morning, Kelly, you know, you're the fattest, so you gotta go first. Work my way down to Jonathan. He's got a low BMI, so. I would still find it important to meal prep. Kelly's gonna last us seven days easy, as long as we're preserving her. Right, <laughs> you're good, that's good. Look at all those chickens. I'm literally stuck in this mud puddle. My, I'm just wearing flip-flops and they're fully submerged. What creatures do you think are living in that mud puddle? Um, ah! um, ah! Ah! Did you see the mud fully here? Oh. I see it on your face. Oh my god. Do you see? Turn to Look the at right. my arm. Turn mud on your cheek. Oh my god. This is not what this I signed up for. Yeah, <laughs> this is direct Maybe. karma. Okay, let's go this way. There was a splash of mud right directly next to the opening to this sugar-free Red Bull. And so the question is, did it get in the Red Bull can? And if so, is it dangerous to drink? And so being a pioneer of YouTube and adventure, there's only one way to find out. I fully took a mud bath. Like, do you, yeah, you can see this, right? Stay tuned for our <laughs> next video happens. where it's just us taking a shower. Link in the description box. Oh, can I help you? Do you think of yourself as a sensitive person? I'm sensitive in the ways that are necessary. I'm so sensitive to energies and chakras. Well, you know, you're in a room and you you like just enter a room and everyone's like, there's like five people in the room, but no one's talking and everyone's like on their phones. There's an energy associated with that. And the same goes for like, if people are having an engaged conversation and they're all present with each other. I don't know, I'm sensitive to like, whether or not there's like a certain subtext along with people's behaviors. And like, I think I'm pretty observant when it comes to sort of emotional situations and that kind of stuff. When it comes to like, politically incorrect jokes. I'm sensitive when I need to be, I suppose, if it's a public format. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm sensitive. I'm a, I'm a sensitive little girl. If I gave you $5,000 right now and told you you had an hour to spend it, what would you do? Ooh, I'd probably go and invest it in a Roth IRA. I would honestly probably invest it in equipment for either YouTube or 
Link to Venmo in the description box below. Come on guys, let's me. see if we can get $5,000. Yeah. <laughs> if I can get $5,000 in one hour, how would I spend it? Maybe I would go on like a European cruise and like document my travels and like specifically try and visit European capitals and like get in tune with different European deities. That makes sense, right? Sure. It's mostly gonna be Jesus. Yeah, mostly. That's a fair point. <laughs> I'm gonna see how many times I can get in tune with different forms of Jesus. <laughs> I literally have two ants on me. Okay. There are a million ants down here. <laughs> there are. <laughs> Ew, I literally think I felt one under me. Ow! Okay. One What's going on? I, I'm not making it up, but I genuinely feel like an ant just crawled on my ball sack. In a minimum of, uh, or maximum of three words, tell me what is important to you. All the trees. <laughs> Every dog ever. Children that laugh. Signs helping people. <laughs> Fun party boats. M millions of Cans, crazy happy birds, many different colors. K kids are annoying. Countries love each <laughs> Christmas is fun. Weather is friendly. Surfboards play nicely. <laughs> That's enough for them. What are your favorite emotions? Full. Peppy. Lugubrious. <laughs> Charismatic. Is that an emotion? None of these are emotions. <laughs> Playful. <laughs> Considerate. <laughs> uh. <laughs> menacing. <laughs> I can feel menacing, that's an emotion. How do you feel about YouTube in one word? <sighs> Inspired. Working. Entertainment. <laughs> Magic online. Kingdom. The place where it all happens. <laughs> Pornhub of real life. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Uh, hit the bell if you want to stay updated on my future videos. I post videos every Saturday. Love you so much. Thanks for tuning in. Fun ways to spend your days. Celebration.